Alexander Gustafson exchanged words on Twitter. It started when DC made fun of Alexander's fight against Jan Blachowicz on the MMA Hour. He's won two fights, and uh, he looked pretty good against he looked good against Glover, but you know, Glover's Glover's a little bit slow, so he's gonna look good against Glover. And against Jan Blachowicz, he was getting pieced up and had to start wrestling. <laughs> Jan Blachowicz. Get the wrestler, Jan Blahovich. Alexander Gustafson responded to DC with this. He wrote, do you talk about the Blahovich fight? What about when someone predicted that left kick and you still fell for it? Here's what Alexander meant by that. Oh. <laughs> so maybe we are on the same that, wavelength. Oh, that okay. will be figured out by September 27th. Okay. So don't think you're going to kick me in the head with your left leg. Anyway, so DC responded saying, damn, Alex, like that? Too late, bud. This is the shit you should have been saying before the fight was made. Now chill before I beat your face in again, pretty boy. And Gustafson ended it off with, you are the one talking fights here. I'm going to be your retirement fight, not Stipe. I'll wait. Can't wait to take you down again and again. Matt Serra on UFC Unfiltered calls out Dominic Cruz for biased commentary during the recent fight between Drew Dober and Frank Camacho. I thought Dober won also. Uh, you know who didn't think Dober won? Oh. Dominic Cruz? Did he really? Oh, no, holy, holy, uh, what is it? Holy bias commentary, Batman. <laughs> <laughs> well, him and Camacho. Well, well this, this is the that, deal. Huh? I watched okay. that thing and I watched it twice. Okay. Because I thought maybe I'm being, because Dominic's my buddy. I like Dominic. Yeah, he's, he's, I like Dominic. Uh, and I like, I think he's extremely intelligent. He knows what he's watching. He's a great fighter. I enjoy analysis. watching him because... Yes. He'll call out some things that I'll be like, oh, look at that. That's right on the money. And it makes you smile. Sure. But in this fight, it's not a bit. I, listen, I couldn't do it. I'd be biased as fuck. Sure. He was not. He was definitely. Do, I could tell he was doing his best to be unbiased. Sure. Like he would say what Dober's doing correct sometimes. And then he would also say that he's looking. Oh, now he's looking fresher. But then, you know, there's certain points in this fight where Dober's landing a two piece on him or a three. He's cracking him. And oh, this is what Camacho wants. He can take that all day long. Right now, Frank is okay to get hit. He just wants to hit you harder. He just took a little rest. And one thing about Frank, he's got a heck of a chin. So he can take this all day. And actually, this is what he wants. And he's looking to land harder. Whereas you hit him, he doesn't care. As long as you don't push the button on Frank, he'll stay in here. Right? Oh, he did say that a lot. He can yeah. take that all day long, but he's still getting punched in the fucking face. He said, yeah. And not coming good. back. There's times where he did come back. But he's like, oh, look at that. He, he, he came back after that because he could take it. And this is what he wants. He wants to get, really? Does he really want to fucking just keep getting hit in the face? Derek Lewis has harsh words for Francis Ngannou. Derek says that there's no way Ngannou is younger than him because he looks like a juiced up 40 year old. Derek said, yeah, I'll fight Francis Ngannou on site. This guy over here, every time somebody asks me a question about him, I say something nice. But every time somebody says something about him, he's like trying to talk down on me, saying that I'm not on his level. Talking about how I'm too slow and this and that, I really don't care. But don't try to talk shit on me every chance you get. He talks shit, but he's never like, oh, I want to fight Derek. He's always talking down on me, but he doesn't want to fight me. I'm working on my cardio and shit. He needs to get down with me. Everybody talking about how I don't have cardio and this and that, but they don't know that I do have cardio. I just hold it in and make it seem like I don't because of the way I move. I just move slow and then I explode. It is what it is. That motherfucker is at least 40 years old. They say he was homeless, so he probably doesn't even know how old he is. Tell me where his birth certificate is at. He's 40, man. Juiced up. They say he's younger than me, and there's no way he's younger than me. Michael Chiesa versus Anthony Pettis is targeted for UFC 223. Chiesa coming off a loss to Kevin Lee and Anthony Pettis coming off a loss to Dustin Poirier. And Floyd Mayweather makes another hint at coming to MMA. He posted this video yesterday. 2018, Floyd Money Mayweather, MMA. What are the odds, Patty? What are the odds? And while Conor McGregor was accepting an award yesterday, he said that he's in contract negotiation with the UFC and wants to get a rematch with Floyd. Um, thank you so much, Eamon. It is an honor for me to come here and, and, and collect this award and uh, see, see so many people, so many generous people, first of all, because your support and something that would ever fund it, um, it, it would not be where it is, like you saw. Currently in the negotiation stage, the opponents, there are multiple opponents on, on, on the platform. Of course, I would love to get that one back. I felt I went into his, his round, and I felt, I felt handy early on. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like.